Welcome to the project demonstration of Smart Blind Stick with IoT and live, to, uh, live location tracking using Blink application. So this blind stick consists of three ultrasonic sensors. One is to detect the obstacle at lower level and medium level and high level obstacle. So three levels of obstacles will be detected and voice announcement will be done with the help of API 3 voice module. And also we can track the person those who have this blind stick. So live location will be tracked with the help of IoT. So for that purpose we are making use of ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the live tracking will be done on this Blink application. So the location of the person can be accessed from anywhere in the world. We are using the Blink application and we need to provide the hotspot to the system, to the kitchen. So that's by using the hotspot and network. So the system will send his location to the Blink application. So here we have interfaced the all inputs and output module to the Arduino Nano board here. So these three ultrasonic sensors interfaced at the pin number 2 and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And API 333 interfaced at uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 pins. And this uh, Wi Fi module interfaced at the pin number 8 and 9. GPS interfaced at the directly first pin of our zero pin of our nano board. So the whole system getting power supply from the 3.7 volts. So this is a battery we are going to use and which is of rechargeable battery. So for that we need to connect a B type charger to the system. So while connecting the charging cable, uh, press it gently, otherwise it may damage. Right. Now when it is showing the red LED, the battery is charging. So when it is turned to the yellow light or green blue light, then it's the battery is fully charged. So till that time, you can keep the battery charging. Once it's fully charged, you can disconnect that. This is the main on-off switch for the whole circuit. So this is the on-off switch. Okay. So now, before on the kitchen, as we discussed, we need to provide the data, uh, means, uh, hotspot settings for the system to get the live location. So for that purpose, go to hotspot settings of your phone, change the hotspot name to project 5501 without any space, without any capital letter and password should be 12345678. Enable the hotspot and enable the data. Now. So you can log into the Blink application from the given credentials. So there we can see red icon over here. So it shows the status of the device is offline. Means there is no data or there is no power supply to the device. So now I am just switching on that. Right. Now you can see the red icon was gone. So as we are demonstrating this project under the sky, we means indoor. That's why we are getting the 00, zero location here. So just instead of placing my hand, mobile phone, so it's detected. So it's high level. Right. So for that purpose, we interface the sensors to the nano board and this API double three is nothing but audio playback recorder. Means it will announce the predefinedly recorded voice from the speaker. So let us see the demonstration under the sky view to get the live location. So, so when we demonstrate the sky under the sky view, there is a LED indication on the GPS. So we will get the live location. So this green LED is a location of our phone and this black dot is a live location of the person. Right. So it is continuously streaming the live location of the person so that whenever you want to see the person's location just we can open the app and we can see the live location of the person